Hello YouTube, it's your boy Hoi Noi, aka Horrible Noise, aka Alex, whatever you want to call me. Welcome to my channel. I got a quick video for you today. It's going to be a bit of a mashup of a couple of different interesting things that I've recently filmed. Namely, we're going to feed some of my bugs, my invertebrates, my tarantulas, my scorpions specifically. The second part of the video is going to be a quick expedition out into the wild just because I caught some really interesting footage on a recent trip to a local wetland sanctuary. So hang on to your little uh, dingleberries because this is going to be a sensuous journey into the world of things eating other things. All right, friends, we're here with my male Asian forest scorpion, a new addition to the squad as well. Uh, he doesn't really have a name yet. I've been calling him Big Scorp Dog. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna stick. He's got a massive enclosure here and he's just thriving. Although he's making a huge mess. He's covered in cocoa fiber. His water dish is full of cocoa fiber. I don't know how, I don't even know how he got it on top of the terracotta pot like that. But he's been digging. And I've only had him a couple weeks. I've fed him just a few times, but he always grabs the prey and starts munching on it right away. So I think he's a sure thing. Uh, I filmed trying to feed my tarantula earlier and she just wasn't having any of it. So hopefully this will redeem us. Here we go. All right, so today he's got a little dirt on him here, but we are going to be feeding a dairy cow isopod so these aren't my usual feeders but i like to throw them in once in a while because they're cool i have a ton of them they perpetuate themselves in my apartment in a little box and they're a crustacean they're not an insect so they're really high in calcium now is he going to be too shy to actually start nomming on it no nope, looks like he's not he's going to work right away thank god for this guy this video would be a bust without him and he's gonna rip it in half with his pincers because that's what they do. Oh no. Oh, dropped it. Oh, he lost it. It's gone behind him. Let's see it. Let's, uh, let's see if he's any kind of decent hunter. Okay, he's, he's tracking it. Oh, we missed. He got it on the second attempt and immediately he's just mowing down. He's going freestyle. He's not even using his hands. Just his mandibles. He's working it into his mouth. Well, you know what? Let's set up a time lapse. <laughs> Theodora paribana. It's a tarantula sling. This is a different species, but there's a big old tarantula. By comparison, let's look at how small this guy is. And you can see the carcasses of other isopods that he's eaten. Uh, he'll take it. Might not do it for the camera though, that's the thing. I could just close him up and come back in the morning and he would leave. Uh, a drained carcass like we see in the corner there. We might get a takedown on the, oh. That's it. Not a super dramatic takedown, but that tarantula is taking the isopod. It's gonna inject him with his venom. And suck his juice. Yeah. All right, it's been about three minutes and we can see the isopod hasn't quite succumbed yet. But the spider, I don't know if he's just hanging on right now or if he's actively feeding on him. I'm gonna close things up so that he feels safe and secure and can eat in peace. 
Next up, we've got my Brazilian rainbow boa, Scully, because she's a redhead like Scully from the X-Files. She is also massively pregnant. You can see that bulk in her midsection there. And uh, she's also beautifully iridescent. And that's why they call them rainbow boas. She's a great eater, but she's very gravid right now, so I don't know if she's gonna take. But we wanna feed those eggs, so we should try. Uh, also noticing a bit of white mold in here, which is not good. But it's just because I haven't been in here as much, because I'm trying not to disturb her. Yeah, she's gonna take it, despite being heavily pregnant. She never says no. Okay, I'm gonna set up the tripod and go to time lapse. Okay guys, this is kind of fun. I actually snipped the tail off of that last rat and wanted to see if this guy would take it. Sure the heck enough, he did. And he's mowing down. So I can hit him with a black light and uh, there's something about the structure of the exoskeleton that makes it reflect black light so they light up like this. Actually, the tail is lighting up a crazy pink color, too. So this is a ridiculous uh, laser tag light show situation, but you can see that bit of uh, spinal cord or maybe just sinew that came out of the, the rat tail when I snipped it and pulled it. Really gross, actually, but uh, this is cool. And this is a fantastic protein-packed meal for this guy who probably won't have to eat for a long time after this. Uh, and it was also just a really cool experiment. So not something I'm gonna feed him every time he eats bugs, but I wanted to see if he'd take it and sure enough, he took it immediately. So pretty cool. What's going on YouTube? I'm headed to a local wetland area on Lake Ontario. We're gonna see if we can see anything interesting. I've been there before uh, and I have seen a number of interesting creatures. So we're gonna check it out. It's a scorching hot day in late May here and my streetcar just arrived. So I'll catch you in the woods. What are you posers doing? Huh? Huh? Okay guys, so unfortunately we didn't see too much to write home about. I don't know what I was really expecting. It's still Canada. We weren't gonna find a gaboon viper in the nature reserve. Uh, but we did see tons of birds. It was teeming with life. Uh, a couple creepy crawlies, a couple frogs, no turtles. Uh, just, I didn't get a lot of footage because there wasn't that much great stuff. But we did catch this one thing which I think is really worth seeing and it is a aquatic bird called the cormorant eating a perch and I'm gonna show you right now. All right, he seems to be struggling actually. This might be slightly too big for him. Let's see if he can get it down. Oh yeah, I think he's got it. But it's still alive. If he drops it, it's gone. Oh, <laughs> there we go. He made short work of that. Very cool. All right, that was uh, that was worth seeing. So there you have it, guys. A uh, little bit of feeding action for my invertebrates, as well as a little bit of feeding in the wild. Bird eating the fish was pretty cool, if you ask me. Uh, obviously, the rat tail thing uh, is a little. A little gnarly, but also really cool that I was able to make that happen, and now I know. Another way I can give my scorpion 
a healthy treat once in a while without having to go buy something from the pet store. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy this video, of course, I need you to hit that like button and click the subscribe button. I'm trying to keep my momentum going here. The other thing to do is to hit the notification bell so that you get notified when I post new videos. Peace and love from your boy, Hoinoi. Here's another video. I think you're going to love it. Click on this one.